I am back today with a video titled The Barrel Lengths of Bear Creek Arsenal. BCA is a high value and budget AR manufacturer and they are producing some of the most affordable upper assemblies on the market as low as $160 to $170 for complete upper assemblies with M-Lock rail systems, flash hiders complete with bolt care group and charging handle and a wide variety of charging methods whether it's rear charging, side charging or dual charging or even left hand charging and ejecting which is pretty darn cool. On top of that, they also offer cold hammer forged barrel options and a wide variety of calibers, and they've really expanded their barrel length lineup, and that's what I want to discuss today, some of the advantages and disadvantages of the barrel lengths that BCA offers. If you're looking for a full overview or review of Bear Creek Arsenal, I have plenty of those on the channel where I discuss the positives and negatives of Bear Creek Arsenal. That's not really this video, more of discussing the barrel lengths, pricing features, and options throughout their lineup. Starting with the 7.5 inch upper assembly from Bear Creek Arsenal, either in 762 by 39, 556, or 300 blackout. At this point, the only one that makes sense to me is really the 300 blackout and potentially the 762 by 39 in that barrel length because you could really put subsonic ammo through the 7.5 inch, run a can on the end, and have an incredibly small package running that 300 blackout sub or 762 by 39 sub ammo, and it works out incredibly well. They also have the 8.5 inch version, and again, I personally only recommend the 762 by 39 or 300 blackout version version of that barrel length because again of the fact that the rounds put through it really perform best with subsonic ammo and a can on the end. Now they also offer some 350 Legend or 300 Win, or not 300 Win Mag, they do offer a 300 Win Mag AR, but they also offer 450 Bushmaster and 50 Beowulf and a wide variety of uh, barrel lengths as well, so those are also something to consider. I'm not even discussing their 22 or 9mm shorter barrel options, I'm mainly focused on the big three for the purposes of this video, 223, 556, 762 by 39 and 300 Blackout. In comes 10 and a half inch and that's what you see here. And that's where it becomes incredibly practical across most of those calibers. 5.56, 762 by 39 and 300 blackout. And there's a lot of different offerings, even with cold hammer forged barrels and different types of handguard options, starting right around $160 to $170. If you were interested in trying out an ARP with a ton of different lower styles on the market now and those brace rollings up in the air, this may be a good opportunity to try one out without breaking the bank. And that 10.5 inch offers a lot of nice features without totally killing the 5.56 rounds and really optimizing, in my opinion, in the barrel length for like that 300 blackout with a can on the end running subsonic ammo. Now they also increase the barrel lengths as you go on to the 11 and a half inch and 12 and a half inch and that's what we're looking at here. The 12 and a half inch seems to be kind of that ideal road for 5.56 when it comes to velocity yet compact size. It's still long enough that you could potentially pin and weld a muzzle device on the end although I would recommend going up a barrel size before you started fooling with that just to get the maximum potential out of the barrel and the muzzle device itself. But this really shines if you're going to throw a can on the end. You have a nice gas system on this setup. You've got a good quality setup at an affordable price. And when you add that can on the end, you're going to get, again, a lot of velocity out of the 5.56. Definitely not its full potential, but it's not going to completely kill it. Um, and it's definitely better than the 10.5 inch. So you start getting into that fragmentation velocity on impact. Add the can on and you're good to go with like a nice uh, mid-size SBR or ARP, depending on what you're doing. Now, Bear Creek Arsenal just released their 14 and a half inch barrel option. Now, this particular one is interesting because a lot of 14 and a half inches when they're coming from the factory are pinned and welded, and this one is not, or at least it doesn't appear to be unless these guys have some uh, magic judo tricks with their welding. So this one is not pinned and welded. So you will have to put that on an SBR or ARP lower, or this is a great start to a pit and weld build. 
You can grab a complete upper assembly for, again, well below $250, depending on the configuration you select, with that 14 and a half inch barrel, and get your own muzzle device you want to pin and weld. In fact, there's been a lot of deals featured on the channel, especially from companies like Primary Arms that are dropping different chemo muzzle devices that already have the holes drilled um, accordingly in the muzzle device for the pin and weld, extending it past the 14 and a half inch and making it permanently a 16 inch barrel, allowing it to be a rifled upper. This is pretty cool because you don't have to buy an already pinned and welded upper assembly. You can simply remove their muzzle device. Then you can add theirs, run the pin in, find somebody to weld it or weld it yourself, and then you're good to go with a permanently attached muzzle device. That's going to increase the overall barrel length to 16 and a half inches. And Bear Creek is a great company if you want to start playing around with that pin and weld service on a budget. Now, they also offer their traditional 16-inch barreled upper assemblies, and I've seen some as low as 170 recently. And all of my favorites will be linked on the campsite page, and the campsite page will be in the description below. Now, that really shines, in my opinion, for the base model 556, 762x39, and 300 blackout. But they also move up to 18-inch, 20-inch, 22-inch, and 24-inch. And where they really shine and where they really get a lot of praise from me especially is their 18-inch and 20-inch 223 Wild Stainless Steel Upper Assemblies. Those are some of the most accurate, high-value, and budget barrels I've ever seen. And I've actually printed or tested about eight to nine of them on the channel over the eight or nine years that I've had them that all have shot under 0.75 inches at 100 yards using a wide variety of ammo. But my favorite right now that I'm using is the Callaway Ballistics 223 55 grain. This, out of both 18-inch and 20-inch barrels that I've shot from Bear Creek Arsenal recently, have gotten as low as a half-inch groups at 100 yards with this ammo, obviously bench-rested with a matched trigger in a decent scope, and me doing my part, so those barrels are plenty accurate. The other cool thing about those is they're still also incredibly affordable, as low as $230 or $240, and those limited-time deals and daily deals will be over also not just in the campsite page, but over on my Instagram. Instagram page if you follow me over there for the daily stories. This 223 was also run for the intro of this video in the 12 and a half inch upper on the SBR and it functions great in every single barrel length that I tried so they're not very picky when it comes to ammo selection. Now here recently I honestly haven't been running steel cased ammo because it's dried up and it's just as expensive as brass but when steel case becomes available again I will start utilizing that for testing but just uh, as a aside I did not test any of these three uppers 14.5, 12.5 or 10 and a half inch with steel cased ammo just for full transparency i've only been utilizing brass cased ammo so i hope you guys like the video and i hope it goes over a lot of the different barrel lengths that bca offers it's really cool because you can stack up your cart with two or three uppers and get your cart under 600 bucks for three uppers and really start testing out different setups that may be great for you Again, an 8.5 inch subsonic 300 blackout with a can would be awesome. A nice 12.5 with a can for like that midsize SBR slash SPR with kind of an LPVO would be a great jack of all trades ranch rifle. Or really stretch it out with the 18 inch or 20 inch barrel 223 wild and you'll have a tack driver varmint getter at a distance. Now again, if you want the full review of BCA on individual upper assemblies, definitely check it out because there are some positives and negatives. Not everything is sunshine and roses, and you will have some negatives when you're spending $170 on your upper, so you'll want to do your research, but I'm a big fan of BCA, especially when it comes into this niche of a sub $200 upper assembly and the wide variety of barrel lengths that they offer. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I really want to hear your opinions. How have you been experiencing BCA lately? What have you been buying? And what's your next upper purchase? Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.